What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at another team of the year midfielder and it is going to be the man himself, Bruno Fernandes, easily one of the hardest cards to actually get at this moment because he is extinct and my boy Ian has picked this card up for 6 million coins. He literally bought him for the max price but this card, I'm going to be honest, actually looks worth that price. He looks like a card that can play left wing. Right wing, striker, cam, centre mid, CDM, left back, right back, centre back and even maybe in a goalkeeper position. God knows because he looks like one of the best team of the year midfielders we have ever had. If we are comparing this card to his latest player of the month card, we are looking at a plus 7 to pace, a plus 5 to dribbling, a plus 5 to shooting, a plus 5 to passing, a plus 7 to defending and a plus 5. 5 to physicals as well. 5 for 10, high high work rates, 4 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Now we all know, with the player of the month cards, with the informed and all of those cards, if you think you're playing this card in a sentimental CDM position, you put a shadow chem star, okay? But if you are thinking you're playing that player of the month card in like a cam position, you go with a hunter. Now with this card right here, you don't need to go for any of them because there's literally no need. You might as well go for an anchor chem style because his pace is going to be good enough for the centre mid, CDM and even the cam position. And it's also giving, going to give him that strength and aggression to his game. So anchor, I feel like, is 100% the way to go. 96 acceleration, 94 sprint speed for a midfielder. Hmm. 99 attacking positioning, 94 finishing. 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 99 volleys with the 99 penalties. You're probably going to hear me say that quite a decent amount. Let's just say that. He has got 99 vision, 97 crossing, 97 freaky accuracy, 98 short passing, 97 long passing with the 96 curve as well. You best believe this guy's passing ability is about to be absolutely insane. He's got 90 agility, 90 balance, 98 reactions, 99 ball control, 97 dribbling with the 98 composure. Dribbling ability looks incredible and the defending stats. This is the stats I want to see on a team of the year Bruno Fernandes. 94 interceptions, 90 92 heading accuracy, 91 standing tackling with the 76 slide tackling as well. You might be questioning the slide tackling a little bit, but I feel like it's going to be still pretty good to see a Bruno Fernandez in a CDM or even a center mid role. Now he has got 80, uh, sorry, 88, 98 jumping, 99 stamina, 91 strength with the 90 aggression. I'm honestly just like blown away on how good this card stats actually are. Now when it comes down to links, Danny Ings, you Aguero, you got Wilfred Zaha, you got Henderson, and you also got the team of the year Kimmich. Now you might be questioning, you're on Ian's account, why are you using those kind of players? Well, I want to save these for the bench, you know. I don't, the thing is, right, you have to understand, I actually want to play the game. If I go in with any of these players into rivals, and they see a Ronaldo, an Mbappe, a Lewandowski, a Bruno Fernandes, and a Kimmich, they're rage quitting. They're not going to stay in the game. So I actually want to test Bruno Fernandes out. So I kind of want to, you know, put like not the greatest players in there. So they actually stay in the game. But either way, Bruno Fernandes will be playing in a 4-2-3-1 in the cam position. But I am going to try him in a centre mid and CDM position in a 4-2-3-1 and in a 4-4-2. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we are going to try out is obviously how he feels on a ball. I'm expecting him to feel kind of similar to his player of the month card. Oh my God, he doesn't. Oh my god, look how agile that is. You see the acceleration he gets off just like a small touch. That is something you definitely do not get off that player of the month card. So we have got a free kick. And I tell you what, it's pro it's quite similar to the goal he just scored against Liverpool. So he's going to step up to the plate. This time I'm going to go over the, over the wall because I don't really want to go to the goalkeeper side saying that this guy hasn't actually moved the keeper. And we are going to score the free kick and it is going to be our first goal with, with team of the year. Bruno Fernandes. I'm going to be honest. I was not expecting that to go in. Especially, I missed out my green time. Over to Bruno. Really nice shielding. Well played. Going to give it to Aguero. Give it back to Bruno. Give it to Ings. Give it back to Bruno. Nah, the guy actually goes and presses me there. I want those goals. I really do. See if I can send him on a run. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, that wasn't even a skill move, by the way. That literally wasn't even a skill. This guy's going to leave. I expect him to leave. Let's all be fair. If Bruno Fernandes is doing you like this, I expect the opponent to leave. But yeah, that wasn't even a skill move. That literally wasn't even a skill move. It was just a touch going backwards. But he like flicked it up in the air. I'm just going to go for that easy finish towards an near post. And obviously, it is going to go in. Nice little pass to Henderson. Give it back to Henderson. Give it to Bruno. 
Fakes around a corner. Go for that power shot towards the near post. And we are going to get another goal with him. I'm telling you, he's positioning, he's movement, he's dribbling just around that little corner. Spot on. So we have got another free kick here. Should we go for it? It's 30 yards out. I say why not at the end of the day. Let's see if... Oh my God, that's big. It is going to be green timed. It is going to dip. It looked like... A, it looked like... It was dipping, then all of a sudden, it just vanished. <laughs> Can I go for the one-two here? Going to try to get him in behind. He does well to actually get past this guy. Who is it? Amalfi. Nice. Hill to hill, well played. Burba spin cancel. The guy actually felt for, like, the Burba spin. For... If that went in, boys, if that goes in, I'm leaving this room. There's no way we've just not made him like that. That is so rude. Fernandez. I'm going to turn and just go for an elbow. Oh, my God. That is such a good pass. Is he offside? He's... Oh, he is actually offside. I thought for a second he was slightly offside, but what a pass from Bruno. Fernandez. Play it pass. Well played. Wilfred. Keep going. Keep going. Fake shot into that open space. Give it to Bruno Fernandez. Touch. Fake shot. He does well. He does really well. Oh, that's the first save Allison has actually pulled off. A bit lucky with, obviously, the rebound. But I'm expecting a little bit more shot power from Bruno Fernandez. But I feel like that's a bit of my fault as well because I could have gone a little bit more forward. Nice. He does, he, like, the ball literally sticks to his feet. Every time this guy gets tackled, I'm telling you, his fight for like just getting the ball back is ridiculous. And it's so hard to actually tackle him because the amount of rebounds this guy gets is an absolute joke. Double white into Bruno Fernandes. I'm going to go for that little dink. I'm going to go for the little dink. Oh, that's rude. That is absolutely insane. Is this guy paused it to rage quit? No, he hasn't. Oh, my God, boys. That little dink over the keeper. The guy didn't even bring out the keeper. It's just I saw the space between the goal and the goalkeeper. And I said, why not? Let's go for it. It's Bruno Fernandes team of the year version. I might as well give it a go. So I have moved him into the CDM position now. We are going to see how good stuff like the interceptions and tackling ability really is. My God, look at that strength. Do you see that strength? To keep the ball under control and to shield off the opponent at the same time. Wow. Give it to Bruno because what I can do with him playing in that CDM position is just that right there. If I can do that with a CDM, it's going to be so effective because imagine if there's no left back or even right back if I'm doing on the other side. Right there. Imagine. I'm in. I'm literally through on goal, and we could get an easy go out of it. Ings to Bruno. To Aguero. Back to Bruno. Little flick up. Flick it over you. Going to go for that volley towards the near post. He's done well. He's done very, very well. Because we all know, with the amount of shot power Bruno Fernandes has, that's going to go in. Fernandes straight onto him. Well played. Really good tackle. Give him the ball back. Let's run forward a little bit with him. Pass it to Aguero. He just not... Is he going to go back into the open space? He is going to go back into the open space. Well played. Kimmich. Fernandez. Should we go for a quick one too? Why not? Give him a dare. Power shot. Oh my God. I expected him, by the way, to hit that with his right foot. I thought it was going to come across him and then he was just going to smack it across. The fact that he hit that with his left foot and it looked like it was going to go in, it kind of shook me a little bit because if that went in with that much shot power, yeah. <laughs> Bruno. Is he going to continue going forward? I'm going to give him a challenge when he comes down to the pace. Why not at the end of the day? And look at Bruno Fernandes. That's against, I believe it is, player of the month, Haaland. And Bruno Fernandes with the pace, with the aggression. And even with the strength, he is getting in front of Haaland. Give it to Gomez. Give it to Bruno. Flick that over my head. Go for an LBY all the way to the other side. If you don't think that's broken, I don't really know what to say to you anymore because that is absolutely ridiculous. The fact that he can do that on a volley, my God. Fernandez, once again, look at this challenge when it comes down to the pace. Haaland, mate, you might as well not try. You might as well not try. Do you see that pace coming into play? That's what I mean. You don't need a Shadow Chem style. You don't need whatever Hunter Chem style, whatever. No, you just need an Anger Chem style. The pace is already insane. So it is time to review him. Three games played, four goals scored, and I also believe we got the two assists, but I'm not 100%. Either way, this card is an absolute monster. He plays the cam position so perfectly, the sentiment position so perfectly, and the CDM position, I wouldn't say so perfectly because there is some odd occasions where you will see a Bruno Fernandes run into like the open space or make a run out of nowhere, and that is obviously going to leave that little space in behind, and you know, you might get counter-attacked on an odd occasion, okay? that Let's just say that, but Bruno Fernandez, outrageous player. Six million 
coins. Boys, I thought, personally, I thought no team of the midfielder was going to go for 4 mil plus. And I'm looking at Bruno Fernandes on my screen go for 6 mil and he's extinct. But it's kind of understandable because if players like, you know, uh, Prime R9, if players like Mid R9, players like Prime Hullet, Mid Hullet, are going for so much amount of coins, why would a team of the Bruno Fernandes not go for a similar price, you know? Why wouldn't they go for that much? So, Bruno Fernandes, 6 million coins. I'm actually going to say it's worth it. And a lot of people are going to be surprised, but he's a serious, serious card that a lot of people will never see in their account. Like, straight up. A lot of people will never even have 6 million coins. Not e Imagine 6 million coins for one player. That's just on a whole new level. Pace. I'm going to give his pace, I would say, a 9.6 to a 9.7 out of 10. Absolute joke when it comes down to how fast this guy is. Transition speed incredible running with the ball incredible but i have seen faster so that is why he's not going to get a 10 out of 10 shooting ability he shots inside the box was huh, they were powerful they were very very powerful but i'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10 for shooting because if i give him a 10 out of 10 for shooting i'm comparing bruno fernandez shooting ability to like a cr7s and i saw cr7 shooting ability and trust me it is better than bruno's so for shooting i'm gonna give him i'd say like a 9.8 out of 10 passing ability i gave i believe i gave his player of the month card a 10 out of 10 you best believe his team of the year card gonna have a 10 out of 10 you saw what was happening when it came down to his uh, passing i was flicking the ball up and just going for these random lby's and they were working every single time dribbling ability i felt um like he felt amazing on the ball and the way i was left stick dribbling the r1 dribbling with him oh my god so for dribbling i am going to give him i would say a nine point i'll probably say like a 9.6 to a 9.7 out of 10 honestly defending i felt like he did put in a very good tackle i didn't actually try out his slide tackles because there was not any occasions to actually try and try it out in but it is what it is the defensive awareness by the way was the one thing i saw that was massively massively improved on this card compared to the player of the month like i noticed on the player of the month there would be the odd occasion where he would allow a player in behind him or anything like that or he would be caught slacking in a little bit but this card onto it every single time he's he's literally focused every time he's making sure he's reading those, those lanes he's making sure he's man marking someone every single time so for defending i am going to give him i would honestly say like a 9.2 to a 9.3 out of 10 top tier physicals great strength like unbelievable strength for great aggression unbelievable stamina great jumping if i had to give this card a rating for the physicals I'm easily, easily, easily going to give him a 9.8 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, he has to be a 10 out of 10. He has to be, boys. If I could give his passing any higher than a 10 out of 10, I really would. Like, I would boost it up to like a 13, a 14 out of 10. Easily, by the way, one of the best passes I've ever used in FIFA. It's an absolute joke how good this card is. And if somehow, some way, you manage to get this guy in your team... You're honestly blessed. It's simple as that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.